In the last video we covered the spot healing brush. In this video we're going to cover the healing brush. Now the main difference between the spot healing brush and the healing brush is that in the spot healing brush, as I mentioned in the last video, it automatically will attempt to heal whatever it is you're trying to heal. You do not pick the sample. With the healing brush, you pick the sample. So that is the key difference. And so what we're going to do is try to remove the portion of the building right here. So we just want to show the sky against this roof. And we're going to use the healing brush for that. But first, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So we're just going to right click and zoom in. And there, there we go. And again, what we want to do is get rid of this portion of the building. So let's go ahead and select the healing brush. And it's already selected for me, but if you haven't selected it, go ahead and select it. Now, if you try to go ahead and heal this before you've picked a sample area, watch what happens. Photoshop's going to go ahead and tell you to alt click to define a source point. So basically we need to pick the sample before we can attempt to do a repair. So let's go ahead and hit OK to this. So go ahead and hit down the alt button. Now you'll notice that we get a target and basically that's your prompt to go ahead and select a sample area. Now what we want to do is kind of sample some of this roof as well as some of this sky. So let's go ahead and do that right here as much as we can. Now notice when I let up on the button, it now shows what we went ahead and picked as a sample. That's the preview. And so what we want to do now is drag this over here and sort of just line this up nice and neat. And when you think it's lined up appropriately, go ahead and click. And there you can see it merged it in. Now sometimes you can see it left a little bit of blend there. So sometimes you have to retry this over and over again. So let's go ahead and try it again. And see, that worked a lot better. So again, sometimes you'll get the result you want, sometimes you won't. The key is just to keep trying it over and over again till you get it to your liking. So that's how you use the healing brush. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up some shapes that I created. So we're gonna open up this PNG file here. And you can see here it still has that sample that we selected in the last photo. Now the healing brush is not just used to heal things. It also can be used to create some really cool effects. So for instance, let's say we wanted to go ahead and blend in this square with this red circle over here. Well, let's go ahead and hit the Alt button. And let's just go ahead and target all of this. There we go. Now let's go over here and let's just start painting and see how it's blending it in now. Take a look at that. So you can do some really cool effects with the healing brush as well. Again, it's not just for healing. It also can be used to blend in shapes. We can even blend in a portion of this photograph into this. So let's go back to this image and let's just go ahead and hit the Alt key and we'll target this window right here. So let's just go ahead and target all of this. And then let's go back to our shapes image and we'll just start drawing over there. See how it's blending it in? Take a look at that. So you can do some really interesting effects again with the healing brush. You can blend in all sorts of objects from different photographs. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching.